Do you want to turn on or enable the private browsing mode in Safari on your iPhone that's running iOS 18? Well, you came to the right place, because in this video I'll show you how you can do just that. Private browsing on Safari is a feature that allows you to browse the web without saving your browsing history, search history, cookies, or other temporary data. So without wasting your time, let's start with the video right away. The first thing that we will do is to open the Safari web browser on our iPhone, and you can see that I have my regular tab opened. In order to turn on the private browsing mode, we have to click on this little icon at the bottom right, which are these two squares, and that will open the tab view, which is just what we need. You can see that it says one tab for me, but we also have this private button, which we want to click on, and that will open the private browsing mode in Safari. It says here that private browsing adds additional privacy protections for tabs. After you close a tab, Safari won't remember the pages you visited, your search history, and so on. So essentially, this mode will allow you to browse anonymously, and no one will be able to tell which sites you visited. In order to add another layer of security for this private mode, you can enable the Face ID in order to unlock this private browsing. Maybe the Face ID is enabled by default. But if it's not, then you want to exit Safari and then open the settings on your iPhone. We will scroll all the way down until you see the Apps section, so just tap on this. And the next step that we'll do is to find Safari in here, because we need to access Safari's settings. Here they are, so I'll open this. And once you're here, you want to scroll a little bit down until you can see this Require Face ID to unlock private browsing. When this is enabled for you, Safari will scan your face with Face ID in order to open the private browsing mode. The mode will be locked and only you will be able to open it by scanning your face. And another thing, everyone, if you don't see the private button for some reason in Safari, then you'll want to click on those two squares one more time in order to open the tab view once again. After that, you'll see these three horizontal lines at the bottom right here, so you'll want to tap on them once and after you do that, you'll see the private option, so just click on it, and you'll open the private browsing mode. That's it for this video, everyone. If you need more similar iOS 18 and iPhone tutorials, please check out the playlists from the description of this video, and I'll see you in the next one.